This is the recently completed $4 billion Amazon project called the Amazon Spheres. Let's go inside. As soon as you walk into the Amazon Spheres, otherwise known as the Bezos Balls, you get a sense that you're in the Amazons, you're in the tropicals. It just feels so humid, it's so hot, and take a big whiff, it actually smells like a rainforest. I am walking in the bottom level. This is the garden area of the Bezos Balls. This plant needs to shave. The reason why this place was built is to increase the productivity of the software engineers and all the workers at Amazon. This plant looks like a Pokemon. Go Vitribel! Being stuck in the urban city every single day is not conducive to imaginative, creative thinking. That's exactly why they built this place. So you can feel like you're in the forest while still having the luxury and comfort of the urban areas. On my left side here is a huge wall of plants. This includes a huge variety of different types of plants. So it increases the plant diversity within this tiny little biome. Out of everything in the spheres, there's over 40,000 different varieties of plants. Just think about that, that's amazing. There are a total of five floors in this place, but it feels much bigger than it seems inside. There's a lot of seating and a lot of open areas all around. I don't think you're doing well, man. I think I'm gonna have to let you go to uh, work for uh, Microsoft over there. <laughs> yeah. So why did they use a sphere for the shape? It's such an awkward shape to build. And the reason is because spheres are found in nature everywhere, including your eyeballs, shape of the earth. Yes, it's round. And this building was built by these interlocking shapes. Look at that. It's just a repeated collection of these interlocking shapes in order to make the Amazon spheres. You know, walking in here, I was actually surprised you gotta pay for their coffee. Everything at Facebook is free. So why would you pay for that? Now we have arrived on the top floor of the whole entire Amazon spheres. Looking down, it's really impressive because you can see the different layers that make up the spheres. So you can tell they put in a lot of thought into this building because even though it is around 6 p.m., it's dark outside, it still looks like it's bright sunlight because of all these lights that are supposed to simulate the lighting conditions of daylight. So it feels like people are working in the jungle every single day. And right here is the biggest tree in this whole entire sphere. This is called Ruby and it had to be craned in here. It had to be lifted from all the way from up there into this building. And as we walk around here, this is a famous bird's nest. Caca, caca, caca. So the spheres were constructed in a circular fashion, obviously, because it's a sphere and all around are these little seating areas where you can bring your laptop. And over here on the fourth floor is a huge conference room. People can book out this conference room and it's meant to have a little feeling of privacy in this huge open area. These vines kind of act like a window and cover everything. Amazon spheres dazzled me. For a huge Amazon to be placed in the middle of the urban jungle is just absolutely stunning. This was a special edition of the Campus Crawl, Campus Crawl Office Edition. If you like this, click that subscribe button and click here to watch another video. My name is Hafu Go. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.